Hey everyone, it's Morgan Yates, and I am so excited to be back with an international travel vlog after about two years now. This video is going to be taking you along on my recent six day trip to the Dominican Republic. If you like what you see in this video, feel free to subscribe because I'm gonna be having a lot of other international travel vlogs coming up in the next few months. But let's just hop right into my trip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching. So greasy. We're waiting for our room to be ready. Good morning. <laughs> Ooh, the sun is coming out right on cue. <laughs> Welcome to, I'm so excited to say this my Dominican Republic travel vlog. <laughs> if you followed my channel for a couple years now, I came to the Dominican Republic to this exact hotel, actually. I'm staying at the Hyatt Zalara Capcana, not sponsored, I'm a paying customer. <laughs> and I came when they were like brand new, it was like empty, it's quite busy now, which is great to see that they are successful despite like the past two years. But this was my last like big trip before COVID and everything. And I have just like, it's just been top of mind of like where I want to go back to as soon as I was able. Um, so I am so, so excited to be here. I'm here with Giselle. It's been a situation getting here of, I thought I was flying out Friday night. It turned out I was flying out Thursday night. Cue me freaking out. You guys, I'm freshly awake and in panic. I'm in a state of panic. I thought I was going to the Dominican Republic Friday night, but it appears I've made a human error and I am leaving tonight. <laughs> So thankfully I was able to book just like another night and it supposed to be a different room, ended up being the same room, which is this beautiful like swim up room. Let me show you. Have like our own swim up pool. The beach is right here. And originally we were checked into this like last unit, but that one, this is like the ground floor obviously with the pool. And the far unit we first checked into at first, uh, we quickly realized it was going to be very loud. A, because it's like right next to the pool and also the pool bar so that's just like a lot of noise but it also shares like the main wall with the pool bathroom so you just hear a lot of conversations as well as like the toilet flushing every five seconds I just feel like when you're paying so much money for like one of the top like room styles you want it to be perfect you know so we ended up switching to this room the other one was a king this one's double which is whatever I just wanted like more quiet however <laughs> this room which the other room didn't I don't know if it's just like moisture like built up or from like people like obviously having the swim up pool and coming in but it's like it smells almost a little mildewy or something and they came and like cleaned all the surfaces and whatever yesterday and it like smelled a lot better but waking up i was used to it but then like when you walk out and then come back in after a while i feel like it's starting to come back so we're figuring that situation out enough about all that i'm just so excited to be here and we have literally no agenda i have a few things i want to do but like we're we now had an extra day. We're here till Wednesday, so it's like five nights, a very long time, four full days. Um, just all at the pool, so I'm gonna go meet her out there. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so so excited. I hope you enjoy seeing like a trip for the first time in forever. And I have some fun like European destinations coming up very soon as well. So um yeah, let me know if you want to see more travel vlogs on the channel and let's get to day one, Saturday. It's like go and then look at each other and do it. <laughs> so you don't have to smile. Okay. Don't smile. It doesn't matter. Okay, ready? Go. <laughs> Wait, no. We didn't get options. Okay. <laughs> you look unhappy. Okay. You told me not to smile. No, you can't smile. Energy. Yeah, it looks like you're having fun. <laughs> Perfect. One more of those. It's <laughs> like off and on, like intermittent clouds, I would say. <laughs> First drink we got going on here, Bloody Mary. <laughs> it's a little bit windy, I worry about this audio, but one thing about this hotel, so it is an all-inclusive. It's all-inclusive and I've stayed at some all-inclusives where it's like, the drinks are just like very watery, very just like juicy, you know what I mean? Not much alcohol going on in them, but these they really pack it in. So we love to see it. <laughs> 
<laughs> really? From this? That mojito last night or yesterday at check-in, I was like literally this much into it and I was like, whoa. <laughs> and also, I think the top is just vodka. So oh, okay. Exciting updates. <laughs> We have not eaten, we haven't even eaten. They do like these fun little pop-up events and stuff, just like activities and whatever, like throughout all day, every day. But right now, cause it's the Olympics, they have some like Olympic games set up and like people can compete and whatever. I would love to watch, Giselle would love to compete. I would love to compete. <laughs> so she's been recruited for later on cause we need to like eat and things. But then somehow, we also got recruited for paddle boarding. You can just like paddle board all for free on the beach. So I think we're gonna do that. Then a man came over selling excursion things, which I went on a couple of the last ones here and I actually really love them. So I think we're gonna go on like, we were debating between this like all day boat thing that you had to like drive an hour to and then it was like all, all day sailing, snorkeling thing. But we ended up deciding on just like from the hotel, there's like a boat that leaves like for a few hours um, in like the later afternoon. So we're gonna do that on Monday, so that should be fun. I think it'll be better to do just like a shorter, shorter thing. like a tuna thing. A little ridiculous right now um because i just threw this like scarf top thing over this bathing suit because technically you're supposed to like walk inside with a shirt on this is looking a little funky right now but we are actually changing rooms again <laughs> we're actually switching to i was debating between two different room types when i booked this like swim up one which i feel like i've gotten my experience with i got the view we've got we've like laid out this morning in the swim up pool and it's been very very nice and i will miss the view every day but we're actually gonna switch into their like one bedroom master suite room, which is like twice as big. I'm kind of excited. It's like I got the experience of both rooms <laughs> that I wanted. Bye to this room <laughs> and, our, and our double beds. <laughs> On to the third. <laughs> Honestly, a third time's the charm. Let's find out. All right, new room tour. We walk in, there's like a whole office room. Um, oh, what's this? This is another bathroom. Oh, is there a second shower? I think there's, oh my gosh. All right, there's a whole second bathroom. <laughs> Um, with another shower right here. Then we go out, we have a whole dining area, the little mini bar, the bedrooms that way. And then we have the living area, a TV right there, the patio right here. I'll show you fully in a second. Just all taking it in, as always, while I film. <laughs> then we go this way to the master bathroom. I mean, the master bedroom. <laughs> we have a little like motion light closet, walk in, very nice. Very big bedroom, the bathroom, this is like the main shower. There's a bathtub, the toilet, double sinks, <laughs> we're big, this room is huge. There's like another couch in here, TV, and then this opens to here, where we have Chiselle. And there's like an outdoor jacuzzi tub, another little table, comfy little day bed thing. And then this is the new view, I like it too. Getting a little ranch. I want ranch too. I don't know if they have it. Should we ask? Blue cheese. That's true. We're getting a little bit of a late start to the day. I've just been chilling in the room, soaking it in. Alright, we're heading to 
dinner. It's tonight's dinner fit. This is my trusty, like most worn dress, I feel like. Um, especially on vacation, it's from Princess Polly. It's like a little midi slit dress. Bringing a blazer in case it gets chilly. Didn't feel like washing my hair, so it's going in this like claw clip thing <laughs> that it was in at the pool. like well known shots. Look at this coffee shop view. It is currently Monday morning, a little breezy. It's like 11 a.m. And now we're getting some coffee. We room service breakfast, should be there soonish. Today I'm really excited because we booked in kind of an excursion. The last time I was here, me and Adrian had like a lot less like just layout chill time and more like going on these like big activities that are optional you can book, which is really fun. But this time we're here long enough, we get the perfect balance. So today we're doing a little like boating, snorkeling, swimming thing. We also had ordered room service before going to get a spontaneous croissant. <laughs> so we had to book our COVID test for the last day. You have to do it like 24 hours before you leave. We now have our nice little dining area. Oh, I've, I've never, never seen mayonnaise, it looks like that. I have so much here. Oh my gosh. They're like, did they bring us? Oh, that is coffee. Yeah. One is coffee, one is milk. No. We thought they brought us like two orange juices and two milks because I ordered like the American breakfast. And we're like, they think Americans like to drink milk. Not inaccurate. Okay. All right. We just got ready. We have like, at this point, probably less than an hour to lay out at like the pool or the beach for a little bit. Then we meet at the front of our hotel. Um, I think it's a short drive to wherever this boat takes off. And then it's just a couple hours of like moving around, <laughs> sailing around. I don't know. Another day in the sandbar. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I haven't even tried this yet. <laughs> did you spill all that trying to take photos of me or did you drink it? Drink it. Uh, we stopped at this like sandbar. So you see we are very far from shore. Me and Adrian came here last time and it's so cool. So all the boats just pull up and it's like you're on land. You get to have some drinks. They come, oh, they come around with like the little, uh, a little bar station that's floating. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of our first date so we got a little something special going on also Giselle has passed many tests throughout the past year but checked off when I went today of not being embarrassed <laughs> setting up a tripod in the middle of a lot of people and taking photos over and over <laughs> a slight sudden windstorm but 
just enough to keep things interesting. <laughs> They're like, ooh, sand in my eyes though. How do you feel to have been dating me technically for a year? Oh, a year? I feel like I could be better in front of a camera by this point. <laughs> so we need a few more years. <laughs> the hotel just brought us champagne and chocolate strawberries. What is this? Is this? <gasps> That's chocolate. <gasps> No way. No way. 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 No way. <laughs> like, you look oh. so cute. <laughs> Why do I feel like I look better right now than I have like the whole week? <laughs> you want some champagne? Wait, well wait till I actually open it, right? Oh my god. I went out. I have my neck. Are you okay? That literally <laughs> came out of nowhere. I feel like I just heard a gunshot in my ear. So sadly, that is the end of this travel vlog. The trip went by so quickly. I truly had the best time. Came home a little bit tanner. Overall, it just felt so good to finally be able to go somewhere a little bit farther away. If you have any guesses on where I'm going next, comment those below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.